Big news just in the past 24 hours in the NBA. It looks like former number one pick and all-star Blake Griffin is on his way to Brooklyn. Blake Griffin has signed with the Brooklyn Nets for the remainder of the 2020-2021 season. The team announced on Monday. Griffin, who cleared waivers after a buyout with the Pistons, is going to wear number two for the Nets. And Griffin has been a member of the Pistons for the past few years. He agreed to a buyout in which he had to pay back $13 million to Detroit so he could get his freedom, so he could get his free agency. And now this puts him back in with former Clippers teammate DeAndre Jordan in Brooklyn. He also happens to be on the same team now as Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving. So a little bit of a big deal. Now, let's just talk about what this means for Griffin. Now, Blake Griffin... Before the signing with the Nets, the closest he's ever gotten to being a contender in the playoffs or a contender for a championship was when he had CP3 in those teams in L.A. when he was part of the Clippers. And those teams, they kind of topped out, I believe, just in the Western Conference Finals or even below that. And, you know, they, there was always talk. They, 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 were, they were one of the best uh, slam dunk teams in the league with DeAndre Jordan and Chris Paul assisting. So, like, they, they had a lot of splash, but the issue is they never were able to have that that thing to put them over the edge, the talent, to put them over the edge and actually get to the finals. And Blake Griffin has been now, you know, out of the playoffs for the past few years, or he's been out of contention, really, for the past few years in Detroit. So this buyout makes sense for him. He's essentially paying back $13 million to, say, I need to go win a championship before I retire. It's a form of ring chasing, but for the Nets, it makes sense because they've been dealing with injuries on and off throughout the year. We we saw Kyrie Irving leave the team for a little bit. Kevin Durant's been a little bit in and out. Uh, DeAndre Jordan's been dealing with some stuff. So it makes sense for them to want to get someone like Blake Griffin, even if people weren't injured, if they could afford it and go out and get Blake Griffin. Go ahead and get Blake Griffin because this the, the, let's look at the reality of it. Blake Griffin was an all star just two years ago, so it's not like he's bottomed out or all oh, he's fallen off a cliff like like Cliff Kellerman likes to say about people. He is someone who can come in, be productive, and even be up in that all star level of player. I, I liken him to a you know as far as a production standpoint and and what he can mean and the role he can fill on that team. He'd kind of be like like a Kevin Love type player in when he was on the Cavs in those in those in those teams that went to the finals with LeBron and I think like like and I, and by that I mean he's going to be someone who isn't going to get the points he's that he normally gets he's not going to get you know all the minutes that he normally gets but he's going to come in and he's going to produce and the big thing that this gives Brooklyn is more depth if you're going to compete with the Lakers and now Brooklyn just seems like they're going to be more than competing with the Lakers. I think they're going to give the Lakers more than a run for their money coming coming into the finals if they get that far. And it looks like they're going to get that far because if you look at the East, there's really no other big-time team that can take them down. The East, going into this year, you know, with the, un, with, with the unknown of Kevin Durant's injury, with the unknown of Kyrie Irving, how he would mesh, they were kind of a wild card, but the East was wide open. With all those factors. Well, we found out Kevin Durant, obviously, the injury hasn't affected him at all. Kevin Durant's fine. Um, Kyrie Irving, when he's on the court, he's fine. When they brought in James Harden, people thought that was a weird move, myself included. But it looks to be working out, and it added depth. It had scoring that they needed. And this is a team now that has Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan, two people. Like, like this is... They're, honestly, probably the best well-rounded team now in the NBA. I don't think that's cap to say. I don't think that's that's a lie. They have they can get they can score in the perimeter. They can score in the paint. They can defend with with anyone. And then you look, when you're dealing with people like AD and LeBron, when you're dealing with those high level type of athletes, and it looks like that's who they're gonna be dealing with, you're gonna have to find a way to overpower them by scoring as well. And you can't just uh, depend on defense that was one of the big problems with Miami you know th there's only an extent to which you can contain 
LeBron, you can contain that Lakers offense and an AD as well. At some point, you have to actually outscore them. At some point, you actually have to make them play defense, make them and put the pressure on them. So that's where that stands. But Blake Griffin going to Brooklyn makes Brooklyn an even more exciting contender and even more exciting likely can a uh, Eastern Conference champion. So we'll see what happens with that. But I'm excited. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.